happy Friday! Welcome back to I'd Lather Be Shaving. I'm Matt Basarsic from Razor Emporium, and with my right to always is... With my right... Douglas Smythe from PhoenixShaving.com! We're gonna do the whole... episode like this! I don't know why we're screaming, folks. Let's use our NPR voices, Matt. <laughs> Welcome back to another scorching episode of I'd Lather Be Shaving. I'm Douglas Smythe from phoenixshaving.com. And I'm Matt Pissarse from RazorEmporium.com. And today we're going to, well... We're going to talk <laughs> about your ultimate shaving kit. What if you were stuck on a desert island. A desert island, folks. Or also known as Arizona. Well, no and no. Antarctica? That's the thing. Is no one ever specific about what the shape Tropical? of the island is. Is it just a you know, desert environment? Is it a plate of ice? Is it Greenland? We've taken all this into consideration. It's actually full of ice, and Iceland's full of green. Go figure. It's like an oxymoron, would you say? They did it so that the boats wouldn't go there for whaling. Regardless! <laughs> Jumbo shrimp! All this and more on today's episode of I'd Lather Be Shaving. Alright. <laughs> this is what happens when what I don't eat. My blood sugar drops and I get crazy. What would you bring if you were trapped on a desert island? If you knew, if you had some kind of a premonition that your plane was going down over an island, be it tropical or be it freezing cold, what would be the few items that you would bring if you had to bring and survive on the few items that you brought? Well, obviously, if you're able to grab razors, you can really grab anything. And even if you're gonna be in a tropical desert or a Iceland desert, you're gonna be exposed to the sun. And you gotta keep those eyes nice and performing well. So you're talking about your sunglasses. Yeah, you gotta have some good eyewear, you know? So I got these crazy 1960s Lockheed Martin blue blockers that are meant to like stare at a rocket ship taking off. That's how powerful they these are. are meant for old people to wear, which <laughs> granted you will eventually be. But they're oh so stylish God. and hipster these days. And you can see for miles. And miles and, and miles. miles. I can see for miles and miles and miles and miles and miles. Well, I figured if you're, if you're keeping those eyes, you know, keen, you gotta keep your mind keen. If you're gonna be performing shaves, you gotta make sure this is working good. You're noggin. And you're not going anywhere for a while. So a thousand places to go before you die. You can also use it though. Maybe it's some toilet paper. Read about a place. What are you doing place. here, man? You're bringing all this extra stuff. We're talking about the num your number one product. Well, okay, really okay, okay, okay. Well, let's get to the products then. Shaving mirror. Also signal mirror. Now, that is huge. How are you going to pack that? I'm trying to get the helicopters and search boats to stop, you know. If it survives the trip. We're doing a crash landing on an island and you're going to be sitting on it. Yeah. Lovely. Yeah. A well, shard will work too. Or a contact mirror. This now that, that's pretty good. Van Gogh, I thought it was fitting, um, is what I've traveled all around Central America with. And this is really perfect for signaling helicopters, but it's even better for shaving with. I have a magnified side and a, a regular side. Maybe you can start a fire with it. I don't know if I could. We can try that later on today. But uh, this was great. I, could, I strung it up on a tree. I could use it. It packs really well, really easy, and it's going to survive the travel and a crash landing, I'm pretty sure. Whereas this probably would impale me and I would die. Yeah, like your blade bank. Don't bring that. Yes. What else we got? Well, I figured, you know, I've done both double edge no, shaving this makes sense for throughout my life and also straight razor shaving. So I would bring a big giant chopper of a straight razor. And I could borrow it. Yeah, maybe. The bigger the width, the longer the life. So if you, as it's sharpening, you're taking away length. And of course, a travel strap. This is convenient. I don't know how you're gonna pack all this? You gotta keep it nice and keen, so you gotta practice. Three times you said keen. Yes, but that would be and my a stone? choice. stone? How are you gonna? I'll find a stone on the island. Depending on the island. Well. Okay. I mean, who am I really trying to look good for, anyways? See, exactly. <laughs> Me, apparently, because I'm on the island with you. What I would bring, how I would be a DE shaver is a hundred pack of feather blades. So. And some uh, denim, a little denim strap here to, you know, to keep them as li alive as possible, uh, as long as possible, uh, being that they are eventually gonna run out. Uh, run out. But um, for special occasions on the island. You know, when you're dressing up for the uh, animals and 
know. headhunters and so on and so forth. Search committee, when they finally find you, kind of look good. Search committee? Search party? Search party. Search party. Uh, in terms of actual shaving products, being a wet shaver, I'm gonna wanna use a brush, but I travel with it, my travel tube. This can also serve as... It's like an extreme travel episode. Typically, it's what you're using in the moment. No, that you... it's a cup. So you can, you know... Yeah, we know. We know all about this. But it also keeps it nice and, you know, dry, so it won't get wet. I, too, have... if you guys have seen this before. But, uh... It's kind of screwy. It is screwy. But again, this is what I would bring. Or, what I was thinking is, I would bring a synthetic knot, knotted brush because this is going to survive in the weather. If it's a tropical island especially, uh, this is going to last the longest. Mm -hmm. And this, you know, typically where, you know, where you would bring metal. I don't know how long metal would last on, on. on the ocean. Metal's lasted a long time. Doing it again. Anyways, <laughs> so I did, depending if I, what the, the nature of the island was or the environment, I might bring a metal travel brush with me. But again, I think in the long run, this is going to last the longest. That's not a bad idea. I, I didn't think about the animal product and the fact that you know it could break down over time. Yeah. Even though my brush is from 1940s and still going strong. In these conditions. Um, and in terms of my actual shaving products, I, I try to think about form and function. For those special occasions on the island when I really want to look dapper and feel my best, I would bring a sandalwood from an old English company to feel like a chap dapper. Old man. <laughs> old man. But, for practicality, I thought a shaving cream that actually had activated charcoal may help with some kind of, I don't know, purification. Oh, now again. Yeah, so it, it's, got, it's got charcoal in here, so it's got to be good for something, right? <laughs> Starting a fire. Ah, maybe. <laughs> Which we're going to need to know how to do very quickly. And then in terms of keeping hydrated after the shave's over, my go-to, plus all-around good lotion, Parasso Shave Balm. You know, we've strayed away from the theme really here. Again, in the forums, when people ask, what would you bring with you for trap? You, you bring your favorite gear. No? These are some of my favorites. This is also some like survivalist themes going well, on. Well, I mean, yeah. That's with the, what is that? That's this, you know, if, I, if my straight actually. razor gave out, I could always sharpen this. And scare off the search committee. Or shave with it. Haven't you seen those videos of people shaving with a... It's all jaggered, man. Dude, oh, don't point that at me. Watch out. <laughs> he was a Boy Scout. Well, I would bring some of my favorites with me. Now, Marissa told me I could bring three of my favorites. I didn't hear this Although part. I've only seen in the forums one of your favorites. But since, you know, I had that leeway, I would bring, that says Clint, Clint with me by Avon, which is kind of their take on Aramis. But I like it better. I think it has more of a leathery note. There's just something more manly about this. And, you know, running around on a desert island, you might want to smell like a man. Plus, you could talk to him almost like... Uh, it's that volleyball from that stupid movie. I'm sorry, Wilson! Wilson, I'm sorry! I'm sorry! Wilson! Wilson! Clint, you could say, hey Clint, how's it going? Robinson Crusoe? Yeah, I think that one, that's the one. Swiss Family Robinson? Probably. Yeah, Anyways, probably. I would bring Clint. Black belt, no <clears throat> doubt, for obvious reasons, because it's awesome. Well, it also would keep away you know, be careful how you use it, right? No, that's high karate. So Anyways, different. or bay rum, because you're on the seaside. If it's a tropical island, I want to smell like a pirate. I want to mingle with some pirates. Possibly drink it? Possibly be taken away by pirates. <sighs> or buried like treasure by pirates. But bay rum, uh, another thing I'd like to bring with me is, well, you know, it's tough. It's tough because I'm a soap maker. So clearly I think what I'm doing is, you know, the way to go. I think I'm doing something right here. I'd want to bring my own product. And what could be more fitting than the beach? It's kind of like scent camouflage. It's also kind of like the thing you'd be the most sick of, wouldn't it be? Like you would just hate salt water and the smell of anything like that? Well, this is the smell of like happy times at the beach. So uh, it might make me feel like I'm at a populated beach, regardless. Okay. So of my own products, I'd bring that. Uh, for a, a long lasting soap, Mind the Condre, MDC. Only, I mean, this stuff will last forever. See, I've taken scoops out with and shared this with people because it just doesn't go down. So this would last me a long time on an island. Why is it so hard? Exactly. Another thing, I actually brought four, but Burma Shave? It could be any puck though. Burma Shave! Any puck because you know, the longer you leave this open to the air, the harder and longer lasting it's going to be. So Plus it's a generally good body wash. I don't know what he means by that. But um, so there's that. And then there's also good old fashioned tobacco because this is one of my favorites, scent wise and performance wise. 
I would bring this with me. I don't know if it would survive the trip being in this container, but it does come in a puck as well. So that's some of my favorite stuff that I would bring to the island. What do you got for it? Oh, you already went over I'm it. almost out. I mean, the only other thing I would tell you, part of any good shaving kit should be a pair of manicuring scissors. You got to keep things looking good. If you have a mustache or goatee, you got to trim this thing up. Keep it out of your mouth. Press the search committee. Yeah. And if you're going to bring a brush, you didn't say shaving brush, I would have my second brush be a toothbrush. I just said brush seven times. <laughs> <laughs> and keen, four. Yep. But who's counting? But some of my favorites I would also bring is my alpha ecliptic. And this is metal too, so I kept that in mind. Like, depending on the island and the conditions uh, I would be in, this is aluminum, this might last a long time. That said, also, the open comb uh, slant bakelite, this too, being made out of bakelite, would last a long time. It's not gonna rot or deteriorate. Uh, as for favorites though, gonna have to bring my red tip. I have to agree with that one. Gonna have to bring the red tip. This is just. I mean, this you may end up with a heavy, coarse beard, and you may have to go through a lot of hair, so. <laughs> I Hefty love razor would be good for that. Another one for extreme survival would be, well, the travel, TOC, or flight. Whoops, I put that together wrong. So you have some options here with this. I can make it lady size, <laughs> fun size, or my size. That sounds sexist. It does sound sexist. And there we go. So, and being metal, this is going to last a while. And I'm going to look damn sexy using it. Um, and then a loom, because I'm gonna get a lot of mileage out of this. I can use this as a That's deodorant. That's true, those things last forever. Deodorant, Unless so I don't drop them. bother Matt and possibly let him borrow it and use it as an aftershave it's all good, when though. this stuff runs out. I'm good. <laughs> and I think. I think that's it. Yeah, I mean, I think the most important thing is not just form, but function. What can you kind of repurpose some of these things for? What else could you use your brush for? You know, Matt, you seem to have taken this to a whole nother level, kind of what you usually do. And um, I think we should test this out in the field. Let's test some of these survival skills for reals. I, I just said that. <laughs> <laughs> I can't. You just can't look cool when you're sitting cross-legged. Yes, you can. Akimbo, if you will. Greetings! <laughs> and welcome Where to our you? take on the desert island. We are on a desert island. That it's, looks like a desert in Arizona. It's a desert county. It's island, a, he means. It's a county island. Oh, it's a county island. <laughs> That's not a real thing. Anyways, folks, we thought we'd do a little challenge today, as we typically do. And um, what we'll be doing is starting a fire. We're going to see if it's possible to start a fire to get, of course, hot water for your shave. So we'll be boiling water in these things and then shaving with it. This desert island came with soup cans. And Possibly not though because there were some cops on our desert island shortly before we arrived. And Long there's... story, our production crew was almost dragged away. But we made it, we survived, so we probably shouldn't even be doing this. Uh, so when it comes to the hot water shave, we might cut that part out, but we do want to have a race to see who can lay the fire first. Yeah, let's go. On your marks, get set, go. Okay. Feel free to walk through your strategy. My strategy is to make a fire. Oh, hey look, I got a fire. As do I. Okay, folks, for kindling, we used uh, some laundry lint, uh, fire steel. Trick with fire steel is if you want it to be functional, remember to scrape the black co coating off the top first. That's a coating to prevent rusting. It won't help you start a fire. It gets better in time as the black coating wears away. Prickers in here. My fire went out. I have got to regroup. Son of a I 
Doug's is uh, a lot of smoke here. Burned up on my dryer lid. <laughs> well, we're <f> <laughs> looks like we're not leaving the island. And you know, why the hell are we thinking about shaving anyways when we're stuck on a freaking desert island? Honestly, this is the last thing on my mind. What I'm thinking about first, dinner. Vegan, no mas. No, you know what? Dinner, dinner. Huh? They told me to bring knives. What do you, what do you want? I got nothing. I had a fire. Now it just goes to show that you know, just starting a fire is easy. Maintaining a fire. Well, we didn't get to pick our own kindling, Matt. I mean, that was... Any more dryer lint? You have Check your the belly whole button. desert around you for dry things, but that's all the dryer lint we have. I'm starting to hear coyotes. Cool. I have a glowing ember. Well, it's kind of like having a gold star at the top of your paper. It doesn't really mean much. And it really doesn't. Just, uh... <laughs> yeah, I really don't have much to work with here. Well, folks, this has been another scorching episode of I'd Let Me Shaving. I'm Douglas Smythe from phoenixshaving.com. I'm not done! He's done. He's done. Thank you for tuning into this week's episode, and join us next week for another killer, epic episode. Less anticlimactic as this. Uh, I don't believe we took the time to even come out here. Well, we did. We went to the desert island just for you. Just for you, folks. Um, anything else you'd like to say before we... No, the plane back to civilization leaves in about 30 minutes. we got to go to the airport. Until next time. Ciao. We'll see you then. Goodbye. Hey everyone, it is bright in here. <laughs> Anyways, welcome back to another episode of I'd Love to Be Shaving. Good morning and have a great weekend. <laughs> Goodbye. Hey, hey. Bye bye. How was the show? Yeah. <laughs>